Hi, this is a first review of 44668 rail and I'll be reviewing this model here Electrotran HO gauge uh, Taff Vale Railway 060 Steam Loco number 264 uh, the model is exclusively made for On Track Limited by Hornby. Uh, it's a DCC ready. The motor is a five polo. Um, it's in a it's a limited edition of I think 500 pieces. And um, uh, if you look around, if you see the box, it's a nice little engine in there. If you look at the back. It's got the uh, it shows that it was built by Hornby. Uh, if you look closer, it's got the addresses, it's got the webs website, made in China, 12 volt, uh, different languages, uh, detail for adults, colors, contents, you know, all that nonsense. But it doesn't have any information about the locomotive itself. But, uh, oh well, let's have a look locomotive right now. Let's open this. Uh, there's some HO gauge couplings. You can see. That'll be handy. Uh, let's just move that for a sec. Put that there. And let's open it. And there we are. Here it is. It's the tap fail number 264. And look at that. She looks nice in black livery. These engines were built um, between, well, in the 1880 hundreds at Manchester or Glasgow I don't know where but the Taff Vale Railway uh, was a railway company in South Wales operated uh, from 1836 until 1922 when it merged to the Great Western Railway uh, that's pretty much it but the model looks very nice you see the nameplate there number logo Look at Look at the wheel arrangement, that's quite nice. Uh, look at the back. We can see the number plate. It's got those windows there, quite nice. A buffer spring. Nope. It's a bit of shame, but oh well. Look through this way. I think that's the whistle. Um, yes, yeah, same again. Up from like this side. Taff fail. Number plate, logo. And uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. Um, there's the front. Look at under. We can see the gear right there, or key, whatever. Uh, wheel arrangement, the screws there. Quite nice. All right, I'll just pull it down. Have a look at the instructions. There we go. I think this one is about, yes, it's, it tells you how to remove the body, uh, the parts, wheels, all that nonsense. Um, uh, yeah, basically. It tells you how to open it. And I believe this one is to how to uh, maintain and running hits or the general parts you know it tells you about safety notes here yeah how to look after it and uh, quite a handful uh, but this little engine is quite nice I like to see how she runs uh, we'll find out on my table on a nice small running session and let's see how she does alright let's test the little tank engine out and see how she runs and hope hope you enjoy
Well, she runs good, but I wouldn't say well or smooth. Um, she, I think she was designed for HL, not double L gauge, but but she she does well with double L gauge. So that's the main good thing. Um, but she is a very lovely little tank engine, and uh, I really like her. And um, yeah. Let's have a good running session and I'll give you my final thoughts on her.